Welcome to Codesters. Codesters is designed to help you learn to code by building animations and games. In each lesson, you'll complete a series of building activities that show you how to work with code. By the end of the lesson, you'll be creating your own coding masterpiece. Let's get started. The first activity shows a finished example of the program you're going to build. You can click Run to see it. Following the instructions in each activity will show you how to use a background, create a sprite, that's this character on the stage, use actions to move your sprite around, and use a click event to make your program interactive. When the example program finishes running, you can click Submit and then Next to start building. By the end of this lesson, you'll use these skills to build your own electronic greeting card. This is your coding page. You'll enter code into this space, called the Code Editor, and look for the results of your program to appear over here on the stage. Up at the top, we'll have instructions for each activity so you know exactly what to do. Notice that the editor in this activity is blank. This is where you'll start to build your program. The instructions will direct you to use different tools from the toolkit to accomplish a goal. We'll start this program by adding a background. The toolkit has three different tabs, Graphics, Logic, and Subject. The Graphics tab contains all the tools we'll use to begin coding. These tools are separated into different categories. To open a certain category, I can click once on the icon. In the Stage category, I see all the backgrounds I might use. The background in the instructions is highlighted in orange. You can also use the Search feature or browse the image library. To use a tool in my program, I'll click, hold, drag it into the editor, and then let it go. You will use these buttons to run your programs, submit your work, and navigate to the next activity. When you run your program, you'll see any changes you made in the editor appear on the stage. There's my summer background. The top of the stage will have a message to let you know that your work is complete and correct. When I see a green check plus, I know that I've completed everything I was supposed to complete in this activity. Now, I'll click the blue Submit button to save my progress and the orange Next button to go on. As you move through the activities, your program will become more like the example program you saw before. Notice that the code from my last activity comes through so I can continue building my project. Dragging tools from the toolkit isn't the only way you can change your program. You can also place your cursor right in the editor and make changes using your keyboard. I'm going to change this image label from summer to winter. As always, I have to click run to see my changes. I got a green check plus, so I know I can move on. I'll click submit and next to go on to the next activity. Another type of activity you'll see is called a debugging activity. Computer programmers spend a lot of time fixing code that has already been written. In debugging activities, you'll get some piece of code that you have to fix. The instructions will help you figure out just what to do. After you fix the program, click Run to see your changes. I got a green check, so I'll click Submit and Next to go on. In the rest of the activities, you'll learn about more tools that you can use and modify to continue building your program. You'll also see more debugging challenges designed to teach you how to correct common mistakes in programming. Near the end of the activity, you'll see a few multiple choice questions for you to answer to check on what you've learned. Then, you're asked to personalize the program that you built by making some of your own changes. Follow the instructions to see what kind of changes you should try to make. Once you're finished with that, it's time to build your very own project. The final activity has a pop-up screen that explains a bit about your project and includes some examples so you know what other students have done before. 
Check out the examples for some inspiration, and then go on to your own build. When you're ready to submit, your work will be shared on the class page so that you can show off your program and also see what your classmates made. Okay, I think you're ready to log in and get coding. Do your best to learn the tools and create projects that you can share with your teachers, family, and friends. Use the create activities to build something you're proud of. Coding is creative.